Så jag måste skicka till mejlen. Du har ingen adapter. Så här kortläsare. Jo, det ska är, jag ha, men jag vet inte vart den är någonstans. Yeah. Vet du vart den är, Nanook? I don't know what we would have done without you, Nanook. Because you, no matter if we are stressed and work really hard, you always come in here with your bunny and makes us smile so much. <laughs> yeah. The kindest little soul. Okay. Take it. Yes. Okay. Protect it with your life. <laughs> So my cat Nayeli, she's she's a little bit like a dog because she really loves to follow <laughs> around, you know, no matter how far you go, she follows you if she's outside and see you. Yeah, how are you gonna solve that now? Good girl. All right, let's go my buddies, let's go. I just, I just felt that I needed to get out in the forest for a while. Uh, Nanak really needed to get some energy out, so I thought that's a good timing for me to also <laughs> get some energy out. If you're lucky, you can walk on the snow because it's freezed, but sometimes you sink down. Now this place is one of my favorite places. It's much more beautiful in the summer when the snow is gone. But down here is the magical pond. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm so happy to see him so happy. <laughs> I have to admit that March and April is uh, the toughest time of the year for me. And it has always been that way. Uh, March and April is the two months of the year that I like the least. I would always prefer November instead of March and April. Even though November is so much more darker and it's just something about these two in-between months that I I struggle a lot with and it has to do you know with myself with my inner <laughs> self I I find no inspiration because uh, it's not winter and it's not spring so you you cannot find the magic of the winter anymore but it's still a lot of snow and it's cold so it's like winter but the magic is not there anymore I'm dependent on feeling the beauty of nature and in March and April it's like everything stands still in a way and I feel exactly the same in myself. It's, I feel like a naked tree. I always struggle with everything I do in March and April because I, I feel like it doesn't really come naturally anymore. It's like I have to, f to, I have to give much more energy just to create something. And, uh, and it's really funny because at the same time also in March and April I get really, really pale and my skin is getting really, really bad. And, you know, I, I don't feel well, really. And the light is killing me, in a way. <laughs> I mean, I should be happy that the light is back, and I am, but I'm really uh, struggling with the hard light. So yeah, I, <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that March and April is the shittiest time of the year for me. I guess the good things about getting older every year is that you, you learn your own cycles. You learn what works for you and not. And I know that March and April is always going to be a shitty time because that's just how it is. It's the, I'm very affected by nature. So in March and April, nature is just like, it's, it's no, I can't even put the words on it. I guess a lot of you might know what I mean. But actually it was different when I lived in the south of Sweden because in March and April, the, the spring is beginning at that time. The snow has melted and it has uh, began to grow flowers in March and April, but here it's two months more before you see flowers or anything growing. So, But I'm going to try my best to keep the energy up. And at the same time, it's really beautiful in another way. I mean, look at the light in the forest. It's, it's beautiful. And in the mornings I can hear the birds sing and that gives me so much inspiration and energy i don't know it's something with the with the songs from the birds that makes me feel so happy so i gotta focus on that what do you guys think of march and april do you feel the same way as i do or do you feel different like maybe this is the best time of the year for you i mean every year i guess i've talked about this on my blog that oh march and april is really hard you know i'm i'm struggling a lot with uh, with energy and inspiration and I always feel so, you know, relieved when I see somebody else that feels the same way. Like I'm not alone anymore because I feel really alone in feeling really bad in myself during this time of the year. Like I, I feel like I shouldn't feel this way. I should be really, you know, full of power, but I'm not. It's the opposite. I feel much more energized in November and December. But in May, it's the total opposite. Then I feel the most power of every month, so I get it all back later. Time to go back home and work a little bit. Can we go home? Yeah! So you won, um, he just got a call mm? from uh, DHL delivery. Mm? They are gonna come and deliver. They <laughs> <laughs> come. <laughs> See, they are gonna. <laughs> they are gonna deliver a, a table, a kitchen table mm. that we ordered a while ago. It's for our new kitchen in our new house. Yeah. It's too big for this kitchen, uh, but at least we're gonna open it a little bit just to look at it because it's made of old wooden recycled tree wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Recycle oh tree wood. <laughs> sitting on the floor. <laughs> Maroc oh, is here. Maroc is here. <laughs> so yeah, okay. <clears throat> what was I gonna... I was just gonna say that it's like such a beautiful kitchen table. And mm. I love that... Uh, the, oh, that was about... The <laughs> 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 this is not going well. The wood is uh, recycled wood. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, the table is recycled wood. So it, uh, it's tree from... From... <laughs> No, the table is here. <laughs> the wood tree. <laughs> Recycled tree at the wood table. <laughs> Table in this house, so we don't know where to put it. Yeah, but we should stay here. Wow! Wow! We are very happy with the table. <laughs> it's even better than we thought. So, as you can see, it's recycled wood, so it's old windows and floors and doors and I love this it's so beautiful and it's very big <laughs> finally when we invite our family for dinner <laughs> we have a big table now I'm gonna drive to Boa it's just 200 meters away it's the house that we have rented during the winter to have the studio and uh, all the packing materials for the prints and so it's actually time to move out now because we could only rent it until uh, April so that's why I'm taking the car because there's a lot of things to move out from the house all right let's go sad part about moving out now is that uh, I won't have any space to paint so I can't continue on my paintings but it's only two months until we move it's actually amazing to think about that next time I pack up my paints again is gonna be in our new house no words can describe how much this means to me to finally have space it feels like it's changing everything in my life I can't even yeah even though I'm so thankful that we could stay here during the winter and rent this house, I'm just so tired of trying to find houses to rent because we don't have space at our own home. It really is a new beginning now. It's just going to be such a relief in our life. I'm really thankful though for the space we had here during the winter. Me and my mother have spent many nights here packing prints. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work, but we have had a lot of fun in here, so... But this is the end of a chapter. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> Alright, so my mom is gonna come in a while and help me pack out. I better get started. <laughs>
finally we are done with moving out all the stuff from Boa. It's been a long day and I'm just so glad that it's over now that I mean I've been thinking about this for a long time that we have to move out all the things. Another chapter has ended but now though we have so many things in our house here. You know, all the things that we moved out, like m my whole painting studio and all the packing materials for all the prints and... Uh, I had forgot how much things we had here. Um, that's why we rented the house, because we, we couldn't have like another business in here. And now I really understand why. You know, it's stuff everywhere. I'm just so, so happy that we're not gonna live with all this stuff like this for so long. In two months we gonna move to the house and finally it feels like all our problems <laughs> is gonna get solved because of that. I just... <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> hey. My hair is looking so bad today. It's, I don't know. Too. We need a hairdresser. It feels like I often end my vlog with us looking like zombies. <laughs> We're gonna go to sleep now. Thank you so much for watching our video and uh, take care everyone and we see each other soon again. Mwah! Lots of love! Bye bye! Bye bye! bye, -bye. <laughs>